football you've got to say my name is Derek Ray positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me ready to give you all the analysis is Stuart Robson and it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship how do you see it panning out Stuart well these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today it's so could be and a goal right off the bat no wonder they're jumping for joy Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Vargas. Ndoye. Tessi. Well, nicely cut out. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. He has time to play it over. Zakaria. Well, they keep passing away. Zakaria. And it didn't happen for them in attack. Federico Chiesa. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. And still looking for space. Can they square the game? He succeeds in clearing it. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Zaniolo. Oh, a tremendous block. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Going short. Fratesi. Di Lorenzo. Zaniolo. And it's still on. Oh, that's splendid play. Blocking it. It is now with Jorginho. Just can't get it past them. And options in the centre. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Zaniolo. Good weight on that pass. Cutting the ball back. Well, body in the way. And with that, the first half draws to a close. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave... Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. This could square the game, and that's exactly what has transpired. Now that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. 
Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So, a level contest. 1-1. Barella. defending and a goal just like that they're back in front well just look at his strength here he holds off the challenge he keeps his balance and he finds the back of the net it's a wonderful goal So there we have it, 2-1. Ndoye. Now the attack looks promising. Takes the shot. Tremendous block. And he stopped them in their tracks. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Raspadori. Barella has it. Federico Di Marco. Chiesa. Now with Barella. Jorginho. Can he put it in? And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Rodriguez Granite Jacker Jordan Shakiri has it Useful looking position you've got to say But nothing comes of it Raspadori The ball with Chiesa Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them given acres of space to attack here delivering it into the box and no worries for the goalkeeper well, they couldn't keep hold of it Sylvain Widmer tremendously strong in the tackle The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Federico Di Marco. Barella. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill, and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.